to the Strong Mom channel. My name is Denise and this is your Pilates exercises for diastasis recti. This workout's for moms in the beginning as well as the advanced stages of diastasis recti healing. However, for the beginners, I highly encourage you to check out this video here. Otherwise, you're not going to really know how to activate the right deep core muscle during this workout. So go check out this, learn how to activate your deep core, your transverse abdominis, and then come back here and do this 10 minute workout with us. And don't worry for those of you who are in the more advanced stages of your diastasis recti healing journey, I'll be giving you some progressions so you can ramp it up and make it even more challenging for you. So grab a mat, get comfortable, and let's get started. Let's get started by rolling down onto the ground. And remember with diastasis, we don't wanna just be going like this. We want to slide down and slide up. All right, you're gonna roll over onto your back and we're gonna start off easily with some pelvic tilt. So I want you to imagine that you are pulling your pelvic bone up and doing a pelvic tilt up and then inhale, release. So exhale, use that core breath as you tilt up and inhale, come back to neutral. Now this movement should not be coming from your glutes. This movement is coming from that low transverse abdominis. Let's go four more. Use that breath to help you engage. Inhale, relax. This is a great exercise for newly postpartum moms. Last one. And inhale. Nice job. I want you to bring your hands back behind your ears. You're going to exhale as you engage and slowly do an elevated head lift. So you're going to lift your head off the floor and your scapula blades are also off the floor, keeping this transverse abdominis engaged the whole time. See how long you can engage that for and keep it held here. If you need a breath, you can come down and reset. Again, you should feel tightness, gentle tightness throughout. I always like to tactile and tap. Let's see if we can hold this for five breaths. You should not see or feel any doming down the midline. And rest, come down. I want you to bring your feet up and you can have your hands down at your side. We're going to do some toe taps. So I want you to think about taking that low back and really gluing it to the floor. And I want you to tap your toe. Now, anybody can do this, but you've got to keep this TA engaged the whole time. Where is it the hardest, where is the hardest part of this exercise for you? Is it on the way down or on the way up? The hardest part for you, I want you to do your exhale. That candle breath or that For those of you who are more advanced, try a heel drop out further away from your body. Last one, each leg. Whoo, draw those knees in. Okay, ladies, you should have been feeling that in your core. If you were not feeling it, then you are not doing it correctly. So going back to the building blocks of this, going back to the transverse abdominus exercises, what you need to really get down pat before taking it to these type of exercises. So I want you to extend, rub your left knee in to your chest and you're gonna extend the right leg out. Again, low back is to your floor. Exhale as you keep that TA engaged. Now, if you need to reset it, every time you switch your legs, that's okay. This is where you're gonna inhale. Exhale, switch. Inhale here, exhale, switch. Okay, if you are on the advanced side, I want you to go a little bit faster and keep your engagement. Keep that hold in your TA without needing to reset. Ladies, I was feeling that one. All right, 
I want you to bring your legs up to the sky and we're gonna do some under over. So think about a scissor, scissor kick. One leg's under, one leg is over. All right, again, low back is to the floor. Join me when you're ready. Your transverse abdominus is engaged. You should not feel any bearing or pooching out, any pressure upward in the belly. To make this more challenging, you can bring your legs closer to the floor. Now, this is about as far as I can go before I cannot contain or, you know, keep controlled in my core. This is challenging the closer your legs get to the floor. Take a rest if you need to, and then go right back into it. None of these exercises are made so that you need to do it 30 seconds or 40 seconds. It is, maybe count how many breath cycles you can do, right? This is all just uh, practice and getting better every time. All right, I want you to come down onto your side, side lying right here. Take your hand, your head in your hand. Bottom leg is bent. And we're gonna bring that leg forward and back. All right. Yeah, we can do this, but can you keep that core engaged throughout? Everything else in your body should be nice and steady. It is just this leg moving and the core is engaged. Let's go three more. Nice job, let's switch legs. And remember what I said? Sliding down, nice job. All right, head in your hand. Core is engaged and bring it forward. Remember, this is not races to how fast you can do this, how many reps you can do this. This is endurance. How? How long? How well you can keep that core engaged? Let's go four more. Last one. Whew, that leg was harder than it was on the other leg. Maybe you've noticed the same thing in your body. I want you to come on to all fours because we have gravity working against us. This may be a harder uh, 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 position for you. So I want you to keep that core engaged here. I want you to take your left leg out. Now, I just want you to go booty lifts right here, up and down. So for those of you who are more advanced, I want you to keep that engagement throughout the whole entire movement. For those of you who maybe cannot do that, what I want you to do is exhale on the way up, inhale down. And you can see what's happening in my belly when I do that, okay? Good, let's keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. I want you to bring that knee in. Bring the opposite arm up. Extend out. You can inhale back. On that extension, you're going to engage. And bring it back. Again, for those who are more advanced, keep that engagement throughout the whole movement. Now, if you feel this, this arm is really challenging, and it's hard to keep your balance, I want you to place that arm down and just focus on that leg. Good, nice balance here. This is really getting your core workout. Let's go, last three. Two. And last one. Nice job, I want you to take that down. Take it into a child's pose. Just stretch it out a little bit. And come on up. We're gonna do the other side. All right, hands down, right leg extended, core is engaged, and little booty lifts here. Keeping that leg straight the whole time. And again, exhale the way up, inhale the way down, if you need to slow it down. If you can, keep that brace the whole time, great. Don't worry if you can't. That is all part of this, is working your way up to being able to do that. Working that core strength and endurance. All right, let's bring that arm in. Exhale out, and bring it back. 
Remember, if this hand is just too much for you, I want you to place it on the ground and you're just gonna focus on the leg movement. You should feel like you are drawing in that low belly the whole way as you extend. If you need to, inhale, release it here, and exhale, engage again. Okay, guys, let's go four more. Last one. Nice work. Child's pose here. Good job. Okay, coming on to your side again. And I want you to take your hand in your head, head in your hand. I want you to bring your bottom leg out and I want you to lift it up so that almost just like the knees on the ground. Now what I want you to do is I want you to bring your ribs off the floor. Okay, so if this is hard for you, you can bring your hand in closer or your elbow in closer. That'll be a little bit easier. So you're gonna lift up. We've got space between the floor, and what we're gonna do is lift this leg. All right, we got a lot of moving parts going on here. So if you're finding that, you know what? It's just too much going on, I cannot keep my core engaged, and I want you to drop your ribs to the floor. Keep the core engaged while you're lifting and bringing it down. Okay, come on, let's go five more. For those of you with the ribs up, you can do this. Last one. Nice job. That was a lot because you have to hold your body up. Keep that core engaged and keep everything silent. All right, same thing here. Bottom leg is out, lifting up. My head is in my hand. Bring the ribs off the floor and let's go. Again, tactile. I like to tap my fingers, rub along horizontally in my midsection. Make sure that I'm not feeling that dome or that coning in my belly. Last two, Woo! and last one, oh, nice job. Guys, I have a little something to say. Not everybody experiences or sees the doming or the coning. I am one of these people. I never had the dome or the cone, I had diastasis, but mine just looked like I, I call it bread loafing, right? My everything just came out. The whole abdominal wall was just out. So when I talk about make sure you don't see doming or coning, I also mean make sure you're just not letting it all pooch out and you are keeping that pressure managed inside, right? Keeping those core, that transverse abdominus engaged so that everything comes inward. Okay, we're gonna do the last couple exercises here. So we're gonna stay on the ground. I want you to come onto your forearm bottom knee is bent and we're going to come into a side plank. So top leg is extended out. I want you to engage your core and you're going to come up. Inhale down. As you can see on my way down, that's when I'm letting go. All right. So if you are in more advanced, I want you to keep this engagement all the way up and all the way down. It doesn't change how you breathe. It just gives you just makes you work on that endurance in the core. If you wanna make this harder. And I want you to hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, let's switch sides. All right, same thing on this side lining up your knees, your hips. Get that elbow right in under your body. Okay, core is engaged here. Inhale, exhale. Keep this here. All right, for those of you, again, more advanced, I want you to keep that engagement all the way up and all the way down. If you wanna add in the arm, feel free. If you need to take a break, feel free. Remember, this is you competing against yourself. Nobody else. Every time you do this, you're going to get better and better. Practice makes progress. Come on, last two. Last one. 
got that feeling and hold for five. Count down with me, four, three, two, and one, slowly bring it down. Roll over onto your back. Oh, bring those knees in. Give yourself a little hug, a little love. Oh, nice big breath here. I want you to let everything go. Let go of any tension you hold in your body. That includes your jaw. That includes your eyebrows. And that includes down there. Okay, nice inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. If this feels more comfortable breathing, to bring your feet down, you can. Let's go, last one. Nice job, ladies. I am so glad you did this workout with me. And if you are looking for the course to help you minimize your diastasis recti with the right exercises to progressively get to where you want, then I want you to check out my Tummy Fix program. It is my eight week signature program to help you minimize your diastasis. Check it out down below and I'll see you in the next video. Now I want you to go check out this video here. This is a 15 minute standing abs exercise workout. Remember there is no exercise that is off limits when it comes to diastasis. It is all in the way that you do it. So click this here